There you go, my friend. Thank you. Hey guys, it's Thursday, December 17th. I have four eBay orders to ship out. And after that, I'm heading over to see my buddy Ben from the Ready Set Resale channel. You guys have probably heard me talk about him before. He's a reseller like me, a uh, really good one too. The guy knows his stuff. And he's moving to North Carolina for a few months. He's trying to clear out some space and he's got these big medical supply like dispenser machines that he's got he's gonna sell me. So we're gonna run over there and pick them up. Okay, first thing we're shipping out today is down an A6. It is... An ugly Christmas sweater. Let's see, I've got two of them. I do believe it is this one right here. I got this at a yard sale over the summer for a dollar, and it sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And now that I'm looking at the picture, I don't think it's this one. So let's go put this back. Let's see. This is the one. Yeah, it's got bells and candy canes and all kinds of goodness on there that's the one $19.99 plus shipping next thing's an e5 it is two different starting lineup figures and they're both cowboys i believe it's this one and emmett smith maybe yeah i think it's these two right here so we've got an emmett smith and tony dorsett and Troy Aikman and Roger Staubach. Same buyer bought both of these for $25.98 plus shipping. I'll just put them both in the same box and refund them the difference in the shipping cost. Those are both going out to viewer named Tommy. Tommy, thank you for the support, man. Really appreciate it. Next thing is an E3. This is a metal detector battery I'm selling for my mother-in-law. Sold for $29.99 free shipping. Last thing is an F2. This is an Orvis Labrador hat. I've got 50 cents into that, sold for $8.99 plus shipping. All right guys, every video I show you how I pack at least one of the things that I shipped. This video is gonna be this hat. Um, in my previous video, I talked about these boxes I use a lot, these eight by six by four boxes. And I like shipping my hats in these. I don't like shipping them in poly mailers because I don't want them to get crushed. Nothing too complex with this one. I just throw them in a poly bag. Fill the poly bag in the box. And it's good to go. And it's usually always ships at like an eight ounce rate. Before I head over to see Ben, I've got a couple questions from viewers I want to answer. First is from Lego Man of the Midwest. Where did you get that big roll of bubble wrap at? And then Jim asks, where do you get your giant roll of bubble wrap? So I'm talking about these right here. And I usually get these online, uh, either Amazon or eBay. But here recently I ran out and I forgot to order more so there's a local place called am shipping supply that i got these two at typically they're cheaper online though so um the small bubble is like three three sixteenths inch i think um seven and hundred feet long 12 inches wide and they're perforated every 12 inches and they're like 31 dollars shipped something like that it's really cheap so if you guys need bubble wrap like that i'll put a link down below in the description next is from kieran cummins Hey John, how do you decide which tote stuff goes in and how do you know from a sale which tote is, it is in? Greetings from Ireland. Okay, so the totes um, he's talking about are right behind me and what I do is I label each item. I used to label it in the title, but here lately I'm using the custom SKU in an item. So when you're, when you're in the eBay app or if you're on you know the eBay website, there's a custom SKU and you can put anything you want there. A lot of people use that for inventory so that when you go to ship it, you know where to find it. So I'll put B1, B2, whatever. I don't really keep like-minded things together. I just kind of wait until a tote's full or if, you know, if, I'm, if I'm listing things, I find a tote that has space and I fill it up. But very soon I'm going to be doing a complete overhaul of my inventory system, like how I set everything up. So stay tuned for that. Hey, what's going on, man? How you doing? Good. So here's everything. So some of the boxes are a little warped. I figured it didn't really matter too much. Cause yeah, it's not a big deal. In the booth. Um, but yeah, so yeah, these are cool. They come with keys and everything. Yeah, so the, this one has the key drop down inside one of these just because I kept it down in there. But there's the little things that they slide down in and pretty cool little things. Where'd you find these? I uh, I actually got them down in Lawrenceburg, Indiana. Yeah, there was, they were having like a. I guess it was a little auction thing. Uh -huh. And before the auction started, you could make offers on whatever they had out there, and then whatever didn't get bought went to auction. So I asked him how much they wanted on these, and he had like five or six of them out. He's like, you can take them all for 100 bucks." I was like, cool. And he's like, okay, yeah, there's some more in the back. You can go pick them up after you get these. I was like, okay. So I ended up getting like 16 of them. And 16? Yeah. For 100 bucks? Yeah. 
Holy crap. <laughs> so you've already sold, what, like 10 of them? Yeah, like over half. I mean, wow. I, this was over the last year and a half or so. Yeah. And um, I thought I was only buying the original six or whatever he had out there. And he's like, yeah. you didn't pick up the rest in the back. So I was like, okay. That's awesome. I went back there and there was like 16 of them. But yeah, so I've had them for like a year and a half. And I sold, like I told you, a bunch of them online for like 100, 150 bucks a piece. Yeah. And then the rest have just been sitting a while. So I was like, you know what? I want to move and out of here. So this yeah. is what I have left. And Cool, man. <laughs> it's such a weird thing. I know that's why I think they just weren't driving traffic online because they nobody's looking for that specific little right, niche, you know. Yeah. It's something that like no one's sort, searching for medical vending machine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's but, very. I mean, I thought they were super cool when I saw it, so I was like, man. Yeah, they are neat. And then I had I had one lady buy like three of them. She turned them into like she sent me pictures after she got done. She painted them in terms of, like craft vending things for oh, her. Oh, that's cool. So she sells little paint bottles and stuff out of them. Oh, that interesting. Was really cool, yeah. Huh. But yeah, so really unique items yeah i'm gonna put one in my booth and then i think i'll put one online yeah. and just you know see what happens yeah i didn't end up shipping any of them i didn't put any really of them on ebay or anything. they was all local pickups all local pickups um, on uh, marketplace further, yeah marketplace off interesting off let go. huh so and then like how I said, do you do with off rope and let go yeah, they're okay they're hit and miss i don't use them as much anymore is one better fun. than the other i, I think you used off them up more than let go yeah uh i think they combined though didn't they did recently? they I think they recently combined. I've been off of them for so long that I haven't really yeah, I don't, noticed. Everything's good on Facebook now for me. Right, it, yeah. It's kind of with the way like Craigslist and stuff right. now. It's just not used anymore. Yeah. But Facebook, man, I've been doing really well have on you? Facebook. That's great, they, man. they have the shipping and stuff on there. Yeah. Now. It's real nice. Awesome, man. But 250 yeah. bucks? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. There you go, my friend. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Yeah. And then, so in the boxes, you can kind of open that one up too, but they have the main machine right here, then... In the roll is the tube that the you know, stand tube, and then at the okay. bottom, there's in the cardboard thing, there's a plate, and then the keys have been inside of each of them. So inside of each one, yeah. cool. Like styrofoam and everything. This is nice. Yeah. Uh, when, I, when you showed me the stack of boxes when I originally got them, yeah. I was like, man, I did not expect there to be this crazy. Many. I like messing with this kind of stuff because, like, I could do one listing and just set it and forget it and not really worry about it. And then, you know, like, yeah. you, like you did with the 10 that you sold over a year, yeah. like you made good money. I could probably make, I don't know, 200, 300, 400 dollars. Yeah, I tried to leave and it, it'll only problem. take me really about 20 minutes of work just to kind of make a listing, put it in the booth. As opposed to, you know, listing like 20, 30 different things and packing yeah. a bunch of stuff. So I like messing with stuff like this. Yeah, I figured, I mean, I figured at, you know, the 40 or whatever you end up paying, there was enough, I, I originally was 50, but there was enough profit there to be made. Cause yeah, I think so. I thought that was a fair number. I mean, I'm already in the profit. And like I said, I have so much stuff that I just need to get out of my basement that's just large. That's why I asked you about the booth earlier in the year. And yeah. I just haven't had time because of everything coming up, the move and everything. Right. So. <sighs> but awesome man well thanks i'll get them loaded up if you got more stuff you need to move I'll start helping just let me know Alright guys, the van is totally loaded. We loaded all those medical vending machines and then we went to a thrift store near Ben. And I got a lot of stuff, but that's going to be another video, so stay tuned for that. Ben, thank you again for the deal on those machines. And if you guys haven't seen Ben's channel, I highly recommend checking it out. It's one of my favorites. It's called Ready, Set, Resell. I'll put a link down below in the description. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.